When two stars orbit the same center, their motion is stable and predictable, never deviating. But when a third star joins, forming a system where three stars orbit each other, the motion becomes chaotic and irregular, completely losing order. This is the so-called three-body system, and it is the most direct manifestation of a chaotic system. Simply put, a three-body system is three celestial bodies interacting with each other through the force of gravity, orbiting one another. Unlike a two-body system, their orbits cannot be predicted with simple formulas. The motion is ex extremely complex. For example, the nearest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, is a typical three-body system. It consists of Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. A and B are binary stars, orbiting each other in a relatively stable way, while Proxima orbits from the outer layer with an extremely long period. The motion of such a system is difficult to calculate precisely and often presents chaotic characteristics. In the novel The Three-Body Problem, this star system is the homeland of the Trisolarans. Due to the chaotic environment created by the interactions of three stars, the orbit of the Trisolaran planet is very unstable, causing the planet to sometimes fall into dark ice ages and at other times suffer scorching heat from multiple suns. Unable to fully control celestial motion, the only thing Trisolaran civilization can do is dehydrate and hibernate in times of disaster, turning into a desiccated biological form, waiting for the next relatively mild epoch. Lu Sixon's setting reflects the real-world unsolvable complexity of three-body systems, allowing more people to intuitively feel the harshness of the three-body problem through science fiction. In 1687, Newton proposed his proud three laws. He once firmly believed that the motion of all objects must obey these equations. However, as his research deepened, he found things were not so simple. When he studied Earth's orbit around the Sun alone, everything was in perfect order. But when the Moon joined the Earth-Sun system, the problem became a three-body problem. Newton tried to solve it, but soon realized the problem was extremely complex, far beyond the mathematical capabilities of the time. He even stated, if I am not mistaken, to precisely solve the three-body problem, may already exceed the limits of human intelligence. In 1880, French mathematician Henri Poincaré systematically studied the motion of 